Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to read data from Google Sheets in a BigQuery or create Google Drive external table in BigQuery. So first of all, we have to go to our console.cloud.google.com and then here we have a BigQuery. Now I can go simply from here from the menu, click right there and go to BigQuery or I can search a BigQuery here and that will take me into the BigQuery. Now I already searched BigQuery so it's right there. So I'm going to go click on a BigQuery resource and here you can see that that's my project and then I have a data set called the data set ID. I can create a new data set if I want, you know, so that's not a big deal. So right here in front of the project, click create data set, it will create a data set. But I'm going to use this existing data set. Now we don't have a Google Sheet as of now. I'm going to right click here in my drive and then create a Google Sheet. Let's uh, call this to Google Sheet, uh, maybe customer. So give it a very nice name here. Uh, let's it open. It's kind of slow. Okay, that's fine. It will work. And uh, we have customer Google Sheet. And I'm going to create a few columns. Uh, so I have first name, uh, last name, and address. Um, so only a couple of records we are going to insert. Uh, and then uh, uh, that's all XYZ address. And then we have ID2 and uh, maybe I have another friend. His name is uh, um, Robert Ledson and his address is a uh, simple SSS. Now, these are three, uh, four columns we have. There could be possibility you might want to read only three columns uh, and uh, you don't want to actually read the, the fourth one. So this is all possible in doing that. So we go back to the our big query here and uh, what we are going to do here, we are going to go to right next to the data set. Uh, these three dots and create a table. Once you do that, uh, it's asking you the source. So I'm going to click right there and my source is coming from the drive. So you, there are a lot of variety of uh, items you have like a Google store, storage or you upload or drive or wherever, you know. In our case, a simple drive. And now it is asking me your drive URI. So go back to your um, file, Google Sheets here, just copy this path. So I'm going to go back here and provide that path there. Now next is uh, it's asking the file format that's a uh, JSON, CSV, Avro or Google Sheets. In our case it's a Google Sheet. Now remember that I was telling you you can uh, select uh, the entire sheet, all the uh, columns or you can actually make some selection and just select maybe three columns. So this gives us option here. If you do not provide anything and even you have multiple sheets, what it will do, it will always read the very first sheet. So see right, right there sheet one, that's what it's going to read in case you have the this sheet right there. Okay, so now what's going to happen uh, um, uh, it's going to read this uh, uh, sheet one and it's going to sh read all of those uh, columns if you do not provide uh, this information here. Now, in case uh, you want to have some uh, uh, customization and I see that uh, I would like to provide sheet one and uh, I would like to only read uh, a few of the columns. So in this case, I'm going to just uh, paste it here. So it is a uh, sheet one. And then you have explanation mark and then you have starting point and ending here. Now in my case, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go back here. If you remember, I would like to read from this cell. So it is a two cell right here. And then uh, maybe I go C. Okay. So I want, I want to see, read all of this data. Okay. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say A2. Okay, and then instead of B20, I don't want to say 20, I want to say C. So read all the uh, value all the way down there. So starting from here and then C come all the way and it doesn't matter hundreds of thousands of records, whatever I have, I want to read them. Now that's fine. Huh? Now what you will do here, it asks you table name. So we give the table customer and it is type external table. Now you have, uh, you could have used the auto detect schema if you want. It's going to detect uh, by reading your uh, sheet data and that's how it will do. But in my case, I want to actually write it by myself. Um, so I'm going to call it, uh, just uh, type the uh, fields here. So I'm going to call this one ID and it's my integer value. I know that. And then uh, I'm going to have a first name and F name. And then uh, my next is uh, uh, L name. 
so that's my last name and then uh, there are some options available if you want to play with those so you have unknown values so just hover your mouse there and you can take a look and read if that uh, makes sense in your case you have also quoted uh, new lines and uh, that see if uh, your data qualifies for that and uh, then uh, in you have uh, jagged rows that's also you have to uh, take a look uh, and depending on your data values uh, if you would like to treat them uh, you know and uh, enable this one in my case my data is very simple and straightforward so I don't have to do anything and then uh, at the end you have default rounding mode as well uh, if you would like to do that uh, so you can take a look uh, right here round half even you know uh, round half away from zero so all those different uh, uh, options are available for you in my case uh, I'm uh, just fine with the default rounding mode because I don't have actually any value that need to be rounded now I'm gonna go ahead and create a table and uh, see right there you can see right here I have a customer table got created we can go right there and say query and uh, also we can take a look so it is in select star so I have uh, three columns and if I will just show you right there so hold on and we can go ahead and run this query and here we have data so you can see that id1 amir and last name there is no address available here and that's why because we have not used that column now if you go back here and say open you're going to see some detail or information you're going to see your schema id first name last name that we created and in detail you're going to see more detail like where this uh, file is uh, she or google sheet is uh, and then you're going to see if auto detection schema was enabled when you were creating this table and uh, then uh, you have uh, like okay google sheets and here is your sheet range you are going to see right there so that's all the information you're going to see in case uh, what happened uh, you have uh, changed your mind and now you want to include the address uh, uh, so that's not going to be possible if you go to the edit detail it doesn't say like oh I want to change my uh, range now so that's not going to be possible so you what you have to do you have to drop this table and recreate uh, you know so go ahead and drop this table delete it and recreate with the same steps uh, I showed you before but you will only provide sheet one uh, and uh, that's all you will do so it will read everything from uh, sheet one uh. I hope this video is helpful thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys the next video